How you doing out there, folks? Yes, it's me, Frankie the Unknown Songwriter. I'm pretty sure by now you've seen a lot of my videos, and all the songs that I've been miming, including my own. But right now I'd like to take the time to go over this pandemic with everyone. Please wear a mask, okay? You know that the cases are spiking right now. A lot of people still aren't wearing a mask, and I don't know why. It's not a lot to ask. If everybody does it, it's going to be better for everybody. I don't know the reason why. I mean, over 100 years ago, there was a pandemic. And with the technology and everything we have now, we should be able to fight it much better. They did it then, and they wore masks. So this is not something new. Like the baseball players, I saw a picture back in around 1918. They played baseball, just like we're trying to do now, and they wore masks. And I don't know what the problem is about wearing a mask. I really don't. There's some people that don't. Even in the building where I live now, they send a, a mandate out that everybody must wear a mask going through the common areas of the building. Now, I go downstairs a lot, and out and I see people aren't wearing masks, and they look at me. Well, because I wear it, they don't have to wear it. They got all the, you know, these different rules like here like on our passenger elevator it says two people at a time but it's so small unless it's your family I would just go on by myself here we could take the freight elevator down we can take the stairs so to avoid contact wearing the mask that's one of the best things washing your hands you know about that right everybody should know all about this rub your hands good as much as you can use hand sanitizer Social distancing. There's so many things. Now with everybody taking the fever, you know, the, for the fever, the temperature, that's important. That's what they're going by a lot right now. Try to, try to do these things. If you do, it'll be a slow process, but we'll all get through this together. I, it just, and I, I don't know what the problem wearing a mask. I, I mean, I'm not wearing it now, of course. I, I'm in my own place right now. And nobody's here but me. Of course, I've had family, and we were all checked out that we're we're, uh, we're clear, you know, of having that. Again, it's really important. I know for sure. Okay, I go out, I wear a mask. I go to the store, right? I'm walking, I gotta walk about, a, I say, a mile up and a mile back. Of course, I wearing the mask and in, in the heat and all a little hard for me to breathe so I bring it down a little you know below my nose if nobody's around I keep going because I go early and if I see anybody I pull it back up you know even whether they have a mask or not as soon as I get to the store I make sure my face is covered another thing about wearing the mask like you know I have glasses on right now it might be a good idea to wear glasses because you can it's so contagious, you can get it through your eyes, of course. You might touch something and touch your eye. At least with the glasses there, it'll be a reminder not to do that. Well, in the summertime and all now, you could wear sunglasses. But, I'm like, it, you just get, if you don't need glasses, just get any kind of glasses. I, I would recommend doing that. You'd be surprised how, how it could help, you know. We, we know that it's, it's passed around very easily. So, again... I'm just doing this before I start this video. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Avoid big crowds. And social distancing is an important thing. This is where a lot of this is being spread. Make sure you're tested. And if you do find out that you you might be a, a carrier, you might have no symptoms. But you, when you're tested, they find you're tested. They find that you do have it. You don't want to spread it to other people. So it's very important that we really pay attention to all this. And then it's going to take a while. Remember, in the beginning, it wasn't. It started off, and then they, they started to, you know, open everything up again because they weren't having that many cases and all. And by doing that, what happened now? All those states are now spiking because too soon but nobody knows exactly how this virus 
everything about this virus. Scientists, you know, they're working on this all over, everywhere. Again, look at it. I, I don't know. I think that the warm weather, like we have now, in like mostly everywhere, I think it spreads more because of that. But then they don't think that way. Of course, if, if we're not vigilant, it's going to spread regardless. But I think the warm weather, the humidity, it's been so humid, it doesn't spread by droplets and all. And what's humidity? I don't know if it gets in the, in the humid air, why wouldn't it thrive in the humid air? They act like that it thrives in the cold, cold air. Because when it first started up, it was cold. I don't know none of that. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm a person just like everybody out there that's looking at this video and the sound of my voice. Please wear a mask. You're home, of course. Don't wear it. I don't know what the problem is. Stay in more if you don't want to wear a mask. But make sure you wear it because you won't be able to go places. Most places require that. So if you need to go shopping or whatever, you're going to have to have the mask anyway. It hasn't been like a law, into law, that everybody has to wear it. Or you'll be fined or imprisoned and all that. It could come to that. So let's, let's just do it, you know. According to the statistics, everybody's not wearing a mask. So, let's say three quarters of the people, I don't know. There's no reason why everybody can't wear it. That's why I'm spending time on this video in the beginning to go over this. And I repeat it. Like now, I go out, I wash my hands. I go take out the trash or go get my mail. I wash my hands. When I come back, I wash my hands. I'm washing my hands now just to make sure, no matter what, that I'm not going to get it off of something, you know, some surface or something. Uh, I'm getting used to doing it more and more, you know. Believe it or not, I'll wash my hands and I'll go in the shower. I'll come out of the shower wash my hands again. It's just a habit I have right now. So it's just an example. L look at all the doctors through the years and hospitals and nurses. They all wear masks. Go to a dentist, they wear masks. So they've been doing it. Why can't you? What about you? So I think that should be it for now for that. But we're just going to have to do it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, you got to get used to it. That's what I think the problem here is. It's something new. And it's going to be the new normal. You see how it's affected so many things. Right now, I'm ready to discuss about this American Idol auditions. It's affecting that too. Because they're having their virtual auditions. And I'm going to get back to this right now. Okay. That's enough for that. Hope everybody tries to do their best with that. Now, let's see. I wrote these songs over 40 years ago. More than, just these eight only because there's test recordings and I got eight records. I don't know how this is all going to come out. I never did this before. I played the test recording and then played the finished product, you know, on the record. I'm going to try. I, I don't know. Exactly. First, I want to go over some of this. Amer I wrote some things down about the American Idol, the virtual auditions. You can look all this up online if you haven't signed up yet. Okay, it's going. It's already getting ready to start. It's not August tenth is when it starts for the auditions. August tenth, twenty twenty, and it's going to go to September 9th, twenty twenty. Ninth of September. It's covering all fifty states, including Washington D.C. Now. These dates, I guess, are tentative. It might go a little longer because the way they're changing everything, because everything is so new with this. Okay. It must be between 15 and 28. I mean, that could even change. Because this is the 19th season right now for the American Idol. Got to be a U.S. citizen. I mean, you can sing a cappella or with an instrument means you can sing with the instrument or without. Like now when I play these test recordings, this guy's singing with a guitar. I said these are good to listen to because this is the way you'll be able to get through the audition because this guy would definitely get through the audition. The one that's doing these these test recordings. You may be asked to sing two or three songs. You know, on a, maybe on a callback. 
And plus, they have uh, the producers have a list, and they're going to probably ask you to sing another song from that list, same way, a cappella or with an instrument. You can choose from it. I have to go through multiple rounds with the audition. It's not a one shot deal. Maybe some people might go through, but you're going to really have to try hard. If they see that you, you're trying hard and maybe you're struggling, but they're going to try to help you too. But if you want to pass this audition process, and you want to meet the judges, right? And you want that, that gold ticket, right? Well, once you get that, then it's just a matter of seeing the song, the music that you use and all the songs. Now, one of the things I'm going to mention, I'm not going to go into it too much. You have to register as a member of AFTRA. If you don't know what that is, it's the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. You have to register. If there's an enrollment fee, I'm not going to mention the amount. It's got to be paid in advance. So if you're having a problem with that money, they're, you're, they're not going to let you participate unless you have that. So keep that in mind. You have to have that. So if you don't have the money, they, remember, they, American Idol pays you. Once you're in the competition and all, you get paid if it's an hour show, a two-hour show, or the, or the recap shows. You're getting paid for that. But if you don't have the money for that enrollment fee, you got to have that. Because you're performing, you know, for songs, you know. It's just the way it is. You're an artist, become an artist that way. So if you don't have the money, I think that AFTRA has a credit union associated with them. They may give you the money that they may pay it and you can pay them, you know, like a credit card or something. Maybe ever go to your bank if you have a good relationship with your bank. As soon as they hear American Idol, for, for whatever the amount of money is, they're pretty much going to want to give you the loan. You can pay it every month. If you do get money from American Idol, you can still pay pay the loan. But if you say, okay, say you get the loan from your bank, and you're fine. They, they can make the check out to that after. So that they know that they got the money to them. That'll give you proof that you paid it. So this is more involved than you realize. I mean, I knew that, but I try to make it simple. Now, well, the stuff I'm saying here, so you say you get it from your bank, you're all set. And you go through this the audition process, and you get into the competition and the finals. And, you know, with this virtual, it's going to be, I guess, from your home. And they might you might go to the studio, but again, there's going to be no audience to worry about. That's for sure. When I mean, they do all these... They make videos of all these auditions and all, and they show them to everybody, and then people vote. It's a, it's a, it's a new process. This is the way it's going to be right now with, with a lot of things virtual. So I'm trying to cover all this. Plus, and if, like I said, the best thing if you're new, and you want to start, because it's between 15 and 28, the, the age group. Now, from 15. Guess at 21, you're going to need a parent or a guardian to sign for you and all and be with you through the process. So keep all this in mind. But again, I recommend that everybody can look it up online. I mean, I just looked it up. There's a lot of things, and there's still new things all the time. So what I'm going to try to do here is now this these songs that I have here, there are a variety of songs about different things. There's eight songs here got eight songs to choose from I don't know how it's gonna come out you know talking on here fine that that comes out you know I recorded songs on here a lot hundreds of songs you know that I've been doing now I'm going to be playing the test recording and I'm going to try to play the record that they made you know with the group the group that this Tim Pan Alley uses is the Melodiers they were a known group back then over 40 years ago now there's four records for eight songs. Yeah, see the records, I have them here. Let's see. This is what they look like. See, Tim Pan Alley, see that? Tim Pan Alley. Yes, it's me. That's going to be the first one I play. I 
Yeah, Marie, my baby. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna perform these songs or anything. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the first with the test recording. I'm not saying nothing. It's gonna be Marie, my baby. So let's see how this looks. So put this up here like this, and then we're gonna start this. Walks down the street, she has every man at her feet. She gives them a smile, she makes it worth a while. Because that's Marie, my baby. She's got what it takes, I know, cause I have to put on the brakes. Sparkle in her eyes to the last goodbyes. If she would ever leave me, that would bring on the cries from the top of her head to the bottom. Okay, now that was the, the test recording for that song, Marie My Baby. Now, see how good that was? I mean, if you can do an audition like that, you know, with the guitar, it's a good thing to listen to. I think this guy that did the, these test recordings, he would have passed the audition, more than likely, regardless of the songs. Now, okay, I'm going to play, see the record? I'm going to play this record, you know, to see how it sounds. Now, this is... This is, that was a test recording. Now this is going to be, let's see, this, this is going to be by the Melodiers. Now let's see how it sounds. This is not going to be easy to do. I'm 
Okay, now you heard it, huh? Let me take this record off of here. Because I'm going to have to put on a, the next one. I feel like a disc jockey here. Okay. The next one is going to be... Oh boy, the world's at your feet. Okay, now. You heard that first one. Marie, my baby. Again, you could change... You can change the, the name. You could put any name you want there. I mean, as far as that goes. I wrote it for my wife over 40 years ago when we started going together. So, we came, a lot of the songs, these songs came about because of our relationship. Now, you heard both now the test recording and the record. So, let's see. I think I'm, I'm kind of moved it this along. Okay, we're going to go. The next one's going to be. Oh boy. It's going to be The World's at Your Feet. Be trying to do this. Because it's not the same, you know, different order here. Okay. Those at your feet. Whoops. Not going to work. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Put this on here. In the record player. Okay. Let's do the test recording for the world's at your feet. Thank you. 
happens here I got so much stuff set up okay that was the world's at your feet so now I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to move this along a little bit I'm gonna do the record next yeah that was the the test recording the world's at your feet so let's do the record this is gonna be a little difficult okay that huh not too bad I, I've got to change the setting here let's see when I don't know I don't know how this is going to come out but let's see let me get that record off of there see, this is a you know trying to keep up with all this it's a, it's a lot okay the next one's going to be just so I'm set up right here next is going to be there's a heaven in the sky above okay I want to set the record on there so I'll have it ready okay now you heard you heard the test recording and you heard the actual record I mean it's not bad this group the melodiers it was pretty clear because some of these there are going to be a little different see the test recording sound about the same I mean the same way he could he could take those songs you know this guy voices like that he could sing them a cappella very easily so it's good to listen to that give you an idea you know if you're not sure this isn't going to be a lot if you do you want to get on American Idol it's going to go through the process you know it's not just walk in oh yeah well you, you sang that song good let's go 
it's a lot you're competing there in this case it won't seem like it's so much because it's virtual it won't seem like it because of that well, let's see what's the next one there's a heaven in the sky above well, I got that I got some other things here okay where is it Okay, there it is. So I'm going to do the, the, uh, the test recording already started, so, because I have them, you know, one right after another, so we're still going to start it now. Okay, what do you think of the test recordings? They're not bad, you know. I think uh, you could learn from it anyway. But if you listen to it, the lyrics are clear in his voice. See how how it is. He could, like I said, he can do it. That guy could do the audition. He'd probably pass. I don't know how far he get in the competition, but I'm pretty sure with his voice, the way it is. So that you can use this to help you like a study aid you know just listen to that those test recordings I'm gonna play the record you can see that the records sound completely different so they took my songs when I sent them in I thought they were gonna pick you know a couple they said they were all good and that's why they sent the test recordings to show me that they all was all right in the test recording so there would be suitable for to, you know be, make it into a song you know and, and a record and they had this group the melodiers you know contracted singers now you know melodiers it's only one person you hear sing okay i understand that the group in the background okay let's let's do the the record now let's see i'm gonna do this Sir, you live in 
love And sometimes you even need a show But if you like to swallow your pride You'll be able to live with your neighbor side by side Cause there's a heaven in the sky above And there's much more to love than just love No matter how much you earn There's always plenty to learn Okay, you see how that sounds, huh? Let me take this one off. So the next one's going to be... Oh. Spirit in every man. But look, let's discuss this one. You hear those lyrics? I mean, that wasn't bad, that singer. You know, he, he's, he's, he's good, that lead singer. For these, these records, you know, these songs, so... Uh, what did you think? Think about it. Because, you know, these songs are all available. Remember, I'm not charging nothing. Only I mentioned a lot before about the lyrics. If somebody really wanted one, one of these songs and you really like it, you say, you know, I, he's already got the demos, he's got test recording, I got all proof of everything here, I got contracts here, and the lead sheets. I'm going to show all that at the end. I don't want to mix it in now too much. Okay, so what we did, we did three songs already. Now the first one was the Marie, my baby, and then uh, world's at your feet. Now there's a heaven in the sky above, and now the spirit in every man's coming up. Let me see where. Okay, that's why I'm trying to show the record. You know, while it's playing. Okay, let's do the spirit in every man test recording.
success comes to the strong of the weak. The spirit in every man is what makes him try as hard as he can. Do you have achieved your goal? Okay. How do oh. Okay. That's gonna happen because I got so much stuff hooked up, you know? Let me fix this, okay. Now, that was the spirit in every man. You can hear the lyrics though on the demos, you know, on the records, just like the test recording. Let's see, I gotta find out where so I can I thought I had it already set up. But the record the flow yeah, here we go. That's gonna be next. I got so many things here, you would be surprised. You don't see it. To keep track of everything here. Okay. I can't drop anything because I won't be able to, to get to it. Okay, so that was the spirit and everything. You can hear the lyrics pretty good, I mean, with these. I'm so, as, as you compare it, you know, you can tell, you know. Now let's hear the, the, the record. Let's see. Okay.
Okay, that was the spirit in every man. How do you like it so far? But did you hear that? The way that guy sings? If you sing like him, I, I don't know if it'd be allowed that you could play one of, you know, one of my records and you could sing with this guy. Maybe they might be allowing it, you know. Or you can use the song and, and practice. Say that was the song, The Spirit in Every Man, because that's what's making him try as hard as he can, and that's what you're doing with this American Idol. You're trying as hard as you can to be the next American Idol, but you got to listen to these lyrics, because, you know, I'm knowing that they're different, original, whatever you want to call it. So now you heard all those songs so far. Now the next one's going to be, I have to, to do this. And every man. The next one is, Don't Let Yourself Go to Pot. That title has nothing to do with marijuana. I'm letting you know ahead of time. Let's see. So I have the record on ready. I'm trying to see. This is hard to do here. I've got so much stuff. Huh. I've got to be here. Don't let yourself go to pot. Ah, let's see. It's on the other side. Okay. That's all set up. Now, let's do the test recording. be the next song but right now we're going to do this don't let yourself go to pot yeah see that title 
again it applies to today you know the way things are we should be getting the shape and you know the fitness centers are having a lot of problem now you know they're in some states you know to keep them open because of the social distancing and all that but this is kind of comes to the point where everybody could exercise it'll help by staying fit right now you know for this virus if you're stronger you'll be able to fight it off and all by staying in the shape it, it does help okay now this record uh, I'm gonna let you know ahead of time it's the same singer I don't know, they they must have took this song different when they heard pot. Because it, it, this guy sounds like he's smoking something and all. But, let's start it. that sound see the test recording is different because the test recordings they all sound about the same but you, you can tell because of that title that, that singer he tried sounds like psychedelic and all that music remember this music is going to match what's on the lead sheets okay now the next one hmm what is the next one I think I remembered everything here so we all have God on our side now the test recording you heard it already started. I'm not going to mess with that too much. You're going to hear the test recording, but I'm going to be playing the record next. So let's see. Should I get this on there? Okay. Get that record on. I'm doing all this. It's hard because I'm not really. You know, you should see the mess back here. <laughs> you can't see it. Okay. We all have God on the side. Now the test recording already started. So let's see. It's good inside. It's easy after you've taken that first stride. We all have God on our side. And there should be nothing. 
Okay, now, you heard that, huh? That's a good song. It's, it's got a moral to the story type of thing. It makes, sends a message, like I said. It can be gospel, and it can be any kind of music, really. But now, you listen to these songs. Well, I, I don't know what you think. I, I think the test recordings are really good now that I... You know, good for this purpose, or for someone who's going to try to do an audition. I mean, it lets you see how it sounds, you know, by having a, just a guitar, you know. Because I think they're going to help you with everything, you know, along the way with this. If you come up and so sheet music, they're going to, you know, that you're a professional, you know, you have that. You know, just doing this and say, well, here, listen to this, this is what I, I you know, come up with. Okay, I guess you want to hear the record, huh? Okay, by the Melodiers. We'll have God on our side. If I get this started, this is a. Oh, that's good. A little different if you notice you know that's the music you know how it does it fit into today over 40 years ago it almost sounds a little bit like rap you see how the way that singer is well when you look at the lead sheets and you might try if you can play music or you have a piano or whatever you might see how it how it sounds because I know that the lead sheets definitely match these songs because I had taken singing lessons and I teach her, I, I brought them in, you know, because I told them the reason I was taking the lessons because I wanted to be able to sing my own songs. He said, fine, that's no problem. He played it, and he sang it, and it sounded just like that. I asked him, he said, yeah, that's the way it was written, like that. Okay, what's the next one's going to be? Your smile is my reward, huh? And yeah, it will be your reward if you win that competition, huh? I'm doing this now. So many. Let's see. Huh. It's gotta be. Here. But you know what? It's probably on the other side because the way they did this, piggyback. Yep. Okay, so get ready for the the test recording. I don't know how this is all going to come out because 
you got three different levels here me talking and the test recording and the record okay let's see your smile is my reward let's do the test recording this one's pretty good Okay, now the record. That one was pretty. If you listen, the lyrics is what I was concerned with. You know, if you listen to these lyrics now, you, if anybody out there can't tell me that there's lyrics like this anywhere, it'd have to be over 40 years ago. Nobody could, could they'd have to copy my lyrics then. If they would have, you know, from the demos from those companies, you know, somebody could have. Okay, now the record. You are 
Okay. How do you like that? Wasn't bad. I mean, these, this, it just keeps in mind, you know. These records are from oh, 40 years ago. I'm going to show all that pretty soon. We still got one more song to go. I don't know how I have uh, this all. There it is. The last one. And I'm, I tried to make it come out last because. Oh, it's oh, it's not there. Oh, now, come on. It's going to be the Christmas song. I tried to save it for, for last. It's got to be here. It's going to be St. Nick's the name. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, here it is. These inserts come out, I'm surprised. That's what I can do here, you know. I can't play without this insert. Okay, let's see here. Ah. Well, this last one, I, I, you know, it came out that way. I made it line up, you know, because with that test recording, so that, there we go. Okay, next the name, and I do the test recording. Okay, this one I put last because this is the Christmas song. And I think in this, well, if it's for the audition, I think the Christmas song might be good because by the time you get into the fall with the audition, oh, oh, oh boy, I got a helper here. They've been quiet so far, but okay, let him go. I'm surprised he hasn't jumped up here. I was going pretty good. Okay, now. I'm gonna do Saint Nick's the name. So let's do it. That's the last one. Christmas song. So, wait till you hear the record. That's why I saved this for the end. Because the record, that music, I'm surprised at this company. I mean, if maybe you might notice it. 
Because remember there was a secret agent theme? I don't know, a while ago. And it sounds like that, that they use that music. I, I don't understand that. But again, I don't think there's any problem with it. You can, like I said, you can put your own music. Okay, now let's see how this is going to come out. got through that huh now let's see Saint Nick's the name the lyrics are clear that demo isn't bad that group isn't bad but you know, no, I don't like that it sounds like they ripped off that secret agent theme but okay that's you know again I have all these records and all this stuff here and I don't know how I'm gonna go through this and put that all to the side so again even if let me just explain this this presentation is for someone that's for Amer American Idol for the audition and for the competition I mean, you could have your own material and you're still allowed to use other material because you see that they offer you songs from their the list that they have so keep it in mind if you like any of these songs well let me know now you heard the, the comparison you know we well, even heard my cat chime in because he, he hears the music 
and certain songs that I play, he, he chimes in. I wish he could sing one of the songs. I guess it'd be a hit, huh? Okay, now. Let's see here. Since I have, let's see what I have here. Let's see. Okay. I got a, a commercial recording contract from Tin Pan Alley. I don't know what's going to show up here. But see it? Now, this is, I think there's a date on here. See the date? July 25th, 1980. My name is on there. I just picked this one. I have, they have two songs in every one of these contracts. Everything's in twos. They have, they match. In other words, these two songs here. Let yourself go to pot. And the spirit and every man. So that's on the same record. And the same with the sheet music. So that way they was able to cut down eight songs. You got four, I got four recording contracts, two on each, and eight songs. I got the sheet music the same way and the records the same way. Okay, so now let me just want to show you because there's the date. And that's definitely we're in August now of twenty twenty, and this this is July of nineteen eighty. We already know that. I'm just going to show you the sheet music. I'm not going to show it all. Okay. See this? See the sheet music. That's I have that. See it? There's, that's the spirit and every man. I have it for all of them. Spirit and every man. Now, on the other side is telling that just have to the pot. See? So I have all the sheet music for all the songs. I don't want to drag this out too much. And it says on there the title and it's got it's got my name on there, words and music. So they give me credit for the music. See that? The sheet music. And I covered that. And let's see. Okay, so all that was done. I paid them in installments for this. They cost about, um, I think it was like $300 a song. Eight songs, you can figure it out. I paid them. By the time I got done paying them, I got, they sent all the records. Let's say I got all the contracts and I got all the sheet music and all. So now you're not dealing with this is legitimate. Okay, so again, Anybody's looking for original material. I mean, it doesn't have to be for American Idol. If you wanted to do, say, a Christmas album, and you're going to use, sing the standards, you know, everybody does sing all those same songs, but you want to throw in a few originals. Because uh, Carrie Underwood just did a Christmas album, but I didn't know about it. And she put on, you know, she sings all the standards, you know, the regular ones, Jingle Bells, White Christmas, and all those ones that we all know. And she had some original ones in there. I could have probably got mine in there, but it was a little too late. I contacted her. So this is something. I'm, I hope this presentation, you know, lets you hear the test recording, lets you hear the recording. Now, if you want to hear these individually, you can look up the titles. Like if you look up, there's a heaven in the sky above on YouTube. It's going to come up. I've done mimes of all of them, you know, so. You could do it that way too again, but you can listen to this this video again. Now, anybody wants to use one of these songs, whether it's for American Idol, for anything, you can contact me. They're available. Again, and uh, I don't know, somebody, you know, these lyrics, because, you know, I've, I've been contacted already. Some guy contacts me, tells me he has hundreds of songs. He doesn't need mine. It's okay, I'm glad he answered me, I'm glad he contacted me, but he doesn't have these songs though. Nobody has these songs. And you might say, well, who wants them? But I never really did much with it. When I first wrote them and I did all this, you know, in the late 1970s, I, after I, I met Marie and all that, and I stopped it. I didn't say I'm going to be, I mean, I took singing lessons and all that. I did it. 
but when I was younger, I could sing my songs, you know, and and I wrote them. So I thought maybe it'd be a good idea, but and now I'm way too old. I could get on America Got Talent. Yeah, I could do that. The age is from anywhere from kids to older people, you know. So that's a possibility. But I'm really looking for a singer, a group that might want some original material. That might like one of these songs or all of them or whatever. You can you can contact me about it. I did it now because American Idol with this, uh, you know, the auditions right now might be interesting. I do have sheet music and that's that means something because they make a play and it's going to sound like what you heard. That's why I did it like this. You heard the songs and you're on the records. That's the way the sheet music is. Just what you heard. So I do have it and again I'm not selling I don't want to sell nothing and if you use one of my songs on, on American Idol for either the audition or for the competition I don't want anything I don't want, really want anything about it only way if there was a recording contract then then as the writer I you know I expect to get a percentage or royalty or something but otherwise no I'm just looking somebody that want to hear my songs, get out there, one of them, all of them, whatever, and that's what I want to do. Because a known singer, you know, somebody pretty well known would sing one of the songs, that doesn't mean it's going to be a hit. Anybody that, that just might like one of these songs, I mean, you've got a variety here, you know. But I said right now, since this American Idol audition is going to be going right into you know, near not too far from Christmas by the time they get you know it's in the September is where they the auditions end and that's going to start with the competition that'd be a good time to bring on a Christmas song especially an original one you could sing any of them if they don't say approve it but a Christmas song that might be something you know that might might clinch it for you, you never know if you have your own material good but if you don't, if you think that one of these songs might fit in with what you have, since you can use any material there, they're they're not. They have to know. You have to let them know, the producers and all. So I hope this presentation. I tried to cover everything the best I could. Keep everything in mind. You can go over this and play it again. I knew it was going to be a little bit long. It had to be, because the songs. There's eight songs, around three minutes. That's about 15 minutes right there, and the discussion I have. I'm not going to discuss too, too much more into this presentation. I'm going to say it one more time. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. Practice social distancing. And even wear glasses, it would help, you know. Sunglasses or glasses like I have on now. It would, you know, prevent you from getting it. This virus for us to, you know, that's why we're doing all this virtual videos, you know, for, uh, because of that, because of the crowds and all. Because, you know, American Idol had, boy, in the audience, we shouldn't have to stand up there on stage in front of a big audience, huh? It's still going to be a big audience because it's going to be, you know, virtually viewed, but it's still not, the, you're still going to have to be in front of the judges and, and producers, but it's not to stand up there in front of an audience, you know, here. It does get kind of, I guess they say stage struck. You don't have to worry about that. So I wish you the best of luck in, in whether it's American Idol or anything that you do, you know. Okay, I'm going to give you my contact information. You can get it through YouTube, Twitter, all that. But uh, it's going to be the email address, the best thing. You know, so I can you can contact me directly. It's going to be Frank Leaper. 46 at gmail.com. I'm going to spell it out. F-R-A-N-K-L-E-E-P-E-R 46 at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. Yeah, that way you can contact me if you're interested and let me know. Because I'm not going to do what more than one person. If it's for American Idol and more than one person contacts me, if it's for different songs, I might, but I doubt it. You know, I'd rather just be with one person. But if it if it doesn't, you know, fall through or whatever, then I can get someone else. 
But again, the Christmas song, keep it in mind regardless. And say, you go through the American Idol. Say you would win. And you, you, because you'll get recording contracts and all. Yeah. You might decide to do one of the Christmas songs. So you could, that could still happen. Again, I really thank you for your time. And have a great day.